herbs come separated beautifully, but you wanna mix them up so you get an even distribution of your herbs for your application process. Next, you add your favorite oils. I like olive oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and jojoba oil. You can put this on the stove under a low temperature to warm it up as a deep conditioning treatment, um, warmed up, or room temperature, it's up to you. This application was done at room temperature, so the consistency is thicker, which makes for a messier application. So prepare with a towel, a cape, or an old shirt if you don't have a cape. You wanna make sure that the hair is properly detangled. In my spray bottle, I have aloe vera and water just to saturate the hair for a smoother application. And so when you detangle, just remember to start at the ends first, then work your way down to the scalp. You wanna have healthy hair. This is what this is all about. I like to separate the hair into four sections. It's not necessary, but I like a neat application and this allows for me to do that. I put my mixture on the ends of the hair first, then I put it towards the scalp, working my way back down to the ends. I do it like this because my daughter's hair gets dry on the ends faster because her ends are not as healthy as the rest of her hair. So I want the mixture on the ends before the moisture dries up. like Mazzani's conditioner so I just put a little bit of that on her hair because her hair is super dry for her curly texture. I recommend a plastic cap because that allows the scalp's natural heat to just let the mixture soak in. After your Layla Butter Herb mixture has sat in your hair for at least an hour, now comes time to rinse it out with aloe vera juice. Then you wanna shampoo the mixture out of your hair. Then carry on with either conditioning or styling as usual. And there you have it, happy hair. Order your Layla Butter Herb Mixture today. Click the link below.